All right, so what do we got here? Finn's Market, Thresh's Sanctum, or the Serpentine River? <laughs> we got somebody already hard for us, Unico. Okay, well, that, uh, that makes it easy for us. We'll go Finn's Market. Um, and I'm back on Poro. You know, I'm... Uh, the the, the, tw the twisted fate I I'm I'm impressed with myself I got it in one take uh, that was that was pretty good um, so so we, we have options available to us you know we get entered we get we get offered an early Pandora's items or maybe even just the right items uh, we can play it but we'll, we'll we'll stick with the Poro you know we'll play we'll play some core TFT once again um, but all right it looks like uh, we got the Serpentine River the stage two and four carousels are replaced by voting rounds everyone gets a component anvil and the winning reward. Awesome. So it uh, incentivizes win streaking a bit. Um, you know, we don't, we don't agree for the carousel. And also, I got to point out—I don't know if you've noticed—but we got a new little, new little arena here. Uh, whenever, whenever I get to master, I will always uh, buy the the battle pass uh, for for the set. Um, and I got some of the treasure tokens so I could I could try and, and unbox myself a Chibi Irelia. Um, and I did not uh, get a Chibi Irelia, but I did get this this arena, so that's pretty cool. Got some got some little fishy swimming around. We also got a uh, a bit of an Ionia start, a bit of a Challenger start, um, a belt. You know, there's there's a lot of things we can play here. Um, but of course, I gotta ask. You know, while, while I'm in these early phases, uh, you know, I go on and off doing this, but I will this time. You know, if you're watching this video on YouTube and you've been watching my content a bit and you've been enjoying it, ooh, Golden Nico, that's very saucy. Uh, if you've been enjoying the content, you know, please, uh, please consider subscribing. You know, it's like it's like 80% of you guys out there aren't subscribed, so, you know, we we bump those numbers up and we'll be chilling. Um, and okay, we got a lot of juicy stuff here. We got a Swain, Nyrelia two. Um. This might be an econ. St I don't. I don't know. I gotta. You know. I gotta. I got to eventually do like learn the information and then make a video about like the kind of starts you can get and like what econ thresholds you should expect to be at uh, for each each type of threshold. Because this almost certainly looks like gold. Seven, eight, uh, ten. Okay, make ten. Oh yeah, we got a full econ start here. Look at that. We're also pretty strong too. Perfected Repetition 3's company stars are born. Hmm. The Golden Nico. Because stars are born is good for low level rerolls. Um, the lobby's looking pretty weak, truthfully. Um, it's not Protected Repetition. It's not 3's company. I might go Gifts from the Fallen. Uh, Gifts from the Fallen, you know, it's just, it's just plain strong. Um, and so is... Uh, this this freaking frontline. So I'm not gonna do anything crazy like an Aurelia reroll, but I will level to put her in there. And it, it looks like we're going to be playing um, probably towards probably towards Vanquishers, um, but we, we shall see. We should definitely have uh, a lot of tempo here, and we'll, we'll ditch the Malzahars. That's that's not something we're gonna be playing. Um, and yeah, so so it's good because we have Gifts from the Fallen, which is a great combat augment. Your units gain 4% attack damage, ability power, 3 armor, 3 magic resist. Each time an allied unit dies, gain these stats again. So it's very it's very powerful. Um, but of course, if we get the perk from it um, for every unit that dies, when we're only fielding 4 units, we're not getting all of that value. Where if we're fielding, uh, you know, 8 units, we're getting a lot more value. So... Generally, um, it, it's 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 the the common the common talking, the, the the common knowledge that you know it's a good augment, but not necessarily the one you want to take uh, to start the game. However, as as you can see, our, our board is quite strong. We don't need the boost from combat augments. It seems that a lot of people are playing quite weak boards. Um, this guy this guy looks a little scary. Um, but everyone else, not so much. So I, I, did, I did see there was a rogue guy, um, but actually, I mean, I can try to do this. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rogue dashed on anyways. Um, and we got a double trouble, double trouble, Sally. Hey, double trouble would look pretty sick here, no? Um, but yeah, so we're strong enough, so we can take this, and this will help us scale into the late game. Um, already, already shaping up to be quite a strong game. We could play challengers out of this too. Um, you know, Gifts from the Fallen, if, if you play Challengers, you, one, need all the perfect items, um, but two, you also need uh, lots of combat augments, because the Challengers, you know, they get attack speed, um, so they need everything else to come from, uh, all, all of their other power to come from augments. Got another Swain here, got another Melio. 
Do I level and preserve the streak? Do I even need to level to preserve the streak? That's the question. Let's see, this guy seems pretty weak. This guy, beatable. Strong. You know what? I'll level. F it. Got a little, got a little, oh, I know, I'm gonna face the super weak guy. That's still fine, we're still making 10. We're still making 10 and we're, and we're keeping the streak going. We're seeing high level, higher level shops. Um, you know, it's all about tempo. It's all about tempo, baby. And this is, this is certainly giving us a lot of tempo. Now, if only I had double trouble, you know, that would be, that would be a little disgusting. Um, we could, if we had a Noxus in right now, we could be, we could be tempoing into Mordekaiser regardless. Um, so and I was gonna talk about, so if I had my, oh, wait, 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 no, it's Serpentine River. It's Serpentine, I was gonna say, um, if I had my pick of the litter, I'd go for a bow. A bow can turn into many things, Nasher's Tooth for Mordekaiser or anything else. But, I don't, I don't have to worry about it, we can, we can just do this. Um, and I'll go gold, I'll go gold because, because of my strong economy, gold will help me more than the others, in, in theory. Support item could also be really good. Um, I actually don't mind that, but I'm, I'm worried... I'm worried about giving other people support items is, is the thing, you know. I um I go loot orb. Let's go, let's go, let's go mystery box. Let's go mystery box, man. Let's get spicy with it. The two guys who level to five going with, with mystery box. I, I love to see it. But we get the gold. So that's alright. This is going to be a very strong start for us. And actually, because I have this anvil, I can do a nifty little thing, which is um well, first of all, selling these milios. If I, provided I win, I, I can level up this gin. Let's do my fight against this guy. Ooh, the the tar the the escort quest. That one's fun. This guy I beat. This guy looks like he's going. T this guy is certainly going TF. Is he? Yeah, he just happened to roll Pandora's items and is going for TF. Okay, I respect it. So this guy. We got another streaker here. I know he's he's lost one, and it it, it should be two here. That that Morello's, you know, definitely definitely has quite a bit of an item advantage on me. You know, I could hear an argument for popping the tome to try and. Um, oh, geez, I just got cleared. He's got he's got an in though. So we don't get to buy the gin. Um. Can we make 40 here? Hmm. <laughs> I guess if we win, we'll sell the gin. Like, gin comes back, right? If we win, we'll sell gin. I guess that's that's all it comes down to. If we lose, I don't want to sell Swain paired. I could sell Irelia. Mm, I, I think selling Irelia there is actually the right move. And this guy leveled to 6? Holy crap. Yeah, um, selling Irelia there is the right move because we, we our, our win con is never going to be an Irelia 3. We could just play Jin. Um, it would allow us to make 40. We'd be turbo rich. But hey, making 30, you know, it, it feels a little bad because we're, we're so close to making 40. But at the same time, you know, we'll make 2. We got turbo stomped. And I guess I guess it makes sense. Yeah, Escort Crest, you're getting 3 gold three gold per round. You want to keep that puppy safe. Just, just turbo level. It's okay. This will buy out buy out some stuff here. What's our Ishtal stone? Um, I mean, truthfully, I don't see myself playing any of these. So I'll just get rid of them. I'll get rid of them right away. Um, and then yeah. So now, now because we have that economy start, because we dropped one item again, I don't know how the duper factors into that. Um, but because we dropped one item, we should get a lot of items here, and then we can we can hopefully have a, a bit more direction for the rest of our game. Um, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards, we get a bunch of bows, you know, I'm kind of leaning towards Mordekaiser. Um, of course, yeah, 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 Mordekaiser could just absolutely 1v9 it, especially with Gifts from the Fallen. It's an option, it's an option to pursue for sure. Tear, Belt, Sword, Sojin, Titans, you know, it might be a challenger game. It might be a challenger game. Um, there's a, there's a Jin 2. 
And then another Irelia. I mean, why not? Let's see what we get here. That's a last Whisper. Sunfire. I mean, so I think I think this is a challenger game. I think this is a challenger game. We're going to see if they're good or not. So, Sojin Titans. We want another sword. Um, and I will... I will... I will... I will greed one more. I'll greed, I'll greed one more. Uh, we're already on a loss streak, so if we lose again, I'm not too concerned. And then if we get like a... Um, if we get like defensive dash or something, maybe that's good. I actually don't know if that's good. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see if there's some... Certainly there are some augments that'll, that'll treat us right. Cybernetic Leech would also be kind of a uh, an insta-lock into challengers. Now, of course, I don't have many challengers, um, but I have an incredibly strong economy and a fair bit of health as well. So we'll, we'll see if we can make all that work. Jewel Lotus Double Trouble Challenger Crown. I actually don't think it's Challenger Crown. Double Trouble. I think somebody has it. I don't want to contest. Dedication Stools. Honestly, Jewel Lotus. And we will play towards Challengers, I think is the, is the call here. Um, of course, just play the strongest board we can in the meantime. I think getting Nox out there is better than a second Aurelia. I mean, let's be real, let's get rid of you. Um, we'll stack up. Let's see, Jin can be our Fiora holder. And this will be our Kaisa holder. So we got that. Pretty pretty well upgraded team overall. So I think I think we should be looking good. And we're gonna be looking for a cloak on uh, on Carousel. That is a, a perfect Fiora item. And it's looking like we're gonna be leveling um, leveling to seven here. Maybe maybe not rolling right away. Maybe maybe just leveling to to keep tempo and then go from there. Now, truthfully, small losses are in fact what I'm looking for here. So that could have been a smaller loss. Let's let's be real about it. But it's close enough. Ash set. Um, here, let's slam this, and then I think honestly having Ionia in right now might be better. We get Juggernaut for a better front line. We get Ionia for for the our, our primary carry at the moment. Um, and yeah, it looks it looks pretty pretty saucy to me. So what is this team? Because I haven't played Challengers much. Um, they're definitely a tempo oriented comp that needs uh, needs some combat augments. Um, so for the four cause we have Fiora, Kaisar, two challengers, Nasus is our main tank. Uh, we get Jarvan uh, and Quinn to make sure that we have Demacia on Fiora. And then you throw in Warwick, Nefiri. You get yourself a level 7 team comp. You throw in Aatrox, you, you make it to 8, you throw in Aatrox. Cap things off, you're looking good. Now of course we have yet to see how good it's actually looking. 50 health? I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, we definitely need to get online soon. Sooner rather than later, certainly. I'm gonna sell this junk. I should also be slamming this belt on somebody. Like, Swain can definitely exist until we get a Nasus. Um, I'm trying to think of a, a more polite way to say that. Um, Shen with a cloak. Kaisa with a rod. I mean, I, I kind of have to take this, no? That, so we have Jewel Lotus, so, I mean, Rod could honestly be Morella Namicon. I don't even think that's bad. Um, because normally, normally you want to go, like, um, Hodge, Jeweled Gauntlet, Guardbreaker, but honestly, I think... Given that I have the Kaisa, and I have a Morella Namicon, that's gonna be an insane boost to us immediately. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. So what, here's what I'll do, here's what I'll do. I will... And I kind of wish I had a second Samir at this point. I'm going to level. That'll give us four Challenger, and I will slap this Merlin Amicon right away. Uh, our front line is lacking, but our back line is looking juicy. Of course, like I said, if I had another Samira, I'd be getting this Morello on Kaisa. But this this should just apply some good some good AOE damage to keep us to keep us stable. Let us econ back up, uh, and then rip it down to zero. Come. Uh, Come 4-1. This guy level 5, rolling for a Chobe item. I think I've seen this before. 
There we go. Massive anti heal all across the board. This is how we, this is how we start coming back, baby. And yeah, so I passed up. I passed up Challenger plus one because Challenger plus one, um, to put it nicely, is fake. Also, I'm grabbing a Demacian just to make sure that if if I happen to high roll off Yora, I have items on her ready to go. Um, but yeah, Challenger plus one's kind of fake. Um, I don't I don't necessarily need to see the need for it. You drop, you end up dropping Nasus, uh, and then just play more Challengers. But like you play crappy Challengers, so like it's not that great. There's my replacement. Beautiful. We can get a Sojin on Kaisa. Um, I anticipate winning this fight, but if I don't, you know, we can sell Poppy. What is this guy doing solo health? Ah, oh, he's the Cho Bitem guy. Still three off, 256 health. Okay, well, we're guaranteed at least a seventh, so, you know, that's that's good news for us. Uh, anyone else gearing up for challengers? Nope, this guy's going TF, rogues, um, like, Sorks. This is, like, probably Noxus, um, also playing TF. Uh, just Tempo, probably into Azir or Noxus. Um, and Nico. Okay, gotcha. That is a juicy looking Nasus out there. I want I want my Nasus to look that freaking buff. Okay, come on. Come on, Kaisa, dash away. Ooh, baby. So close. So close. Well, that's, that's kind of unfortunate, especially because we won this one. You know, break the streak, yada yada. Whatever, we'll be fine. Uh, so we can start rolling a bit here. Ari. Kaisa. Rise. I don't want any of this. Fiora. Jarvan. Um, okay, you're out, you're out. You're out, you're in. Put this on you. We do have a duper, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna commit it to, I'm not gonna commit it too early now. Bow, cloak. Okay, 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 okay. That's actually great. Um, Warwick. Jarvan goes in for this. Um uh, I need I need one more Demacian. This goes in for this. We got this here. Um Kaisa. Warwick. Just wanting a Fury at this point. A Fury in for this. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Out. Out. Um. Out, out. Out, out, out. Out. And now, if this was a Fiora 2, it would want to be 9. But it's a Fiora 1, so... You know, we're not we're not exactly at 1v9 territory yet. But it's okay, we'll continue rolling next turn. 31 health. 31 health and a dream. Give me leech. Give me um uh, defensive dash. I don't even think that's good, but like I'd take it. Um give me give me one of those things, and this this board should be able to go infinite. Um and then even like a gunblade on Kais, I wouldn't even mind. Like you have my sword, I'd take that, make a gunblade, or a giant slayer, one of the two. Maybe gunblade. Probably gunblade. Infusion, Contagion, Harmasis. I think Harmasis is actually perfect here. Because it gives us our healing. Fiora. Quinn. Quinn too, sure. Um, haven't seen a Nasus. That's kind of upsetting. But we'll we'll just dupe the Fiora. Dupe the Fiora, call it a dang day. Roll once for fun. No, no, no main tank. So, you know, we'll see. Let's see, I have I have all combat augments. Gifts from the Fallen, Jeweled Lotus 2, Harmasis 2. If if anything is gonna make the challengers work, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Okay, and we're up against the a TF guy, huh? No blue buff, no blue buffs. That's my that's my potential saving grace here. Yeah. Okay. We want him. Oh, we got a new laser too. Look at that. Look at that. We got a big old sun disc laser. That's actually an old one, but it's a it's a favorite of mine. So we're, we're bringing it back. Um, but okay, sweet. So there we go. So that's that's that. Um, we need our last item for Kaisa, potentially Gunblade here. 
Um, you know, I, I am building her in a supportive role, but I mean, if you look at her, she's doing an insane amount of damage. Uh, Nefiri. I don't, I don't, I don't particularly want to roll too heavily at the moment. I see this guy. He's got two Nasuses. What's this Echo doing, man? Um... Uh, this guy's got three. Okay, so there aren't that many Nasus is gone. So the fact that I can't find a single one is is a little more depressing than it than it sh perhaps should be. But what are you gonna do? We're getting we're getting strategic buff. You know we're we're buffing we're buffing uh, uh, her back here. Okay, so this guy, lots of one stars is my my assessment of uh, of his board. So that that should allow Fira to go infinite. Oh baby, ping pang pong. <laughs> that's that's what she's saying out there. Sweet. So let's let's hope for. So we're still kind of we're still, we're on a healthy win streak and we're winning by a, a decent margin here. Um, but so I would like um, a Nasus on Carousel. I'll take or a okay. Never mind. We we don't get a unit. That's right. Um, honestly, gold. Gold here, because I get a component anvil anyways. There, there are several items that are good for me here. So... Um, the chill item die? Aw, uh, chill item, chill item died. Very unfortunate. There, there, there are, like, rerolls are okay. Um, I might want to wait till 8 to use them. Because, I mean, my, my board is pretty much upgraded. Gold really helps me here, because I, I want to push 8. That's the thing I want to do the, the soonest. Ooh, baby, and I get it. It's gold. We get the gold. Sweet. So that should boom. We get on a fury, beautiful. Um, and now, in contrast, to last time I will pop this now because I want to make an item. Uh, and there we go. We have a. I, I think. Do a giant slayer. I I think it's I think it's I mean it's between gunblade or giant slayer. But I think it's giant slayer. Giant slayer just just flat damage increase. Or I guess, you know, percentage damage increase. This can turn into like a crown guard or something. Like Nasus. Nasus can utilize uh you Nasus can utilize AP. So a crown guard is a good tank item and seems pretty good on Nasus. And yeah, it, it looks like it's paying off. Sweet, so we can make 30. That gold was major for us. That gold was absolutely major for us. There is a Nasus. Now, is this just immediately stronger than Swain? I make money. Swain's not doing much. We get we get Sharima. We get Juggernaut. Uh, Swain did no damage. He absorbed... Okay, he actually... Swain actually tanked a decent bit, so maybe that was a bit preemptive, but... You know, I'm still gonna let it rock. 48 to level, 3 streak. We should be able to level next turn. Um, oh yeah, and, and Fiora should make light work of, uh, of rogues. She'll just, she'll just ping, pang, boom them. Heal to full and call it a dang day. Okay, BT proct. Come on. Oh, what? Okay, Kaisa cleaned up. Kaisa cleaned up. Okay, my Fiora got leveled. But, but Kaisa with the cleanup. You love to see it. So not, not as definitive as I wanted. Um... The true power spike of this board comes from Aatrox, because you have double Darken, uh, and so you're, you're just your last remaining uh, person just has um, what an insane amount of of life steal, uh, double the life steal, just shooting out extra stuff. Like it's just it's just amazing. Um, so yeah. So until then, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll see what items we get here. Crown Guard is good. What else can this turn into? Ionic Spark isn't even bad. Um, yeah, Crown Guard or Ionic Spark. Either are terrible. Hodge. Hmm. These aren't great, truthfully. 44 to level. You mean 20 gold to roll with? Let's see if I can find... Slayer or Strategist. I, I, I think I can sack this. Um... Like, Redemption Jeweled Gauntlet? 
Like, who do I put Jeweled Gauntlet on? Like, just on the. F I mean, it, it's it's wasted. I think I gotta. I think I gotta. I gotta go. This and. F it. Jeweled Gauntlet on, on Quinn. F it. Who cares, man? Okay, we got we got through the big Nasus. Okay, Giant Slayer, I I am fully vindicated. We we just killed a two star ascended Nasus. Um, yeah, Giant Slayer was the right call. Not not doing anything right there was the right call. Um, so now we just need to get luck and get the Aatrox. So push levels here. A roll of bits. See if I can get something worthwhile. Mordecai's are even bad. Oh my goodness! Well, there it is. There it is. Um, I will, of course, hold Kaisa and Fiora um, with with acquiring all that we need for this team. Um, that's a, that's an insane high roll. I mean, four percent. I did spend twenty gold, but still. I mean, you know, someone someone do the, do the stats in the comment if you if you want to. Um, but uh, but it was a high roll. Let's just be real about it. So I think I think with that, I should be in the clear to. Um, yeah, potentially just push nine. We can cap around Heimerdinger. Uh, we can potentially three star some units. You know, I don't, I don't want to get I don't want to get too eager now, but I'm the only challenger player in this lobby. So I norm normally I'm the one complaining about uh, Fiora. It's either it's either the opponent Fiora just just having her way with me, <laughs> or or my Fiora doing nothing. But that's that's the key. That's what I've learned is is you need you need pure combat augments. If you if you take a singular non combat augment. Uh, your, your placement drops by a billion. So pretty cool. So we'll just, we'll just econ here. Um, again, I do, I do want to grade these. Uh, I'm going to hold on to them. You know, crazier things have happened. Always make sure a fun YouTube thumbnail. And of course you, you at home, you probably already know if I got the three star or not. Because you would have seen it in the thumbnail. So pretty crazy. Again, you guys are just time travelers out there. Kind of spooky. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but anyways... So yeah, so we should we should be on, we should be we should be guaranteed top four, um, and and on a bit of a course for a uh, you know on a course for for level nine. Now let's see this guy. This guy did finally get his blue buff. He has about everything he needs on this uh, this multicaster comp, and I would call him a cringer, but of course I literally just did this. Ooh, but looks like I found the counter. Looks like looks like I had so much success because no one was running challengers into me. Uh, a fully decked out challenger team. Pretty sweet. But yeah, look at that. I mean, look, the, the one remains. The, the one the one who remains. The beautiful, the lovely Fiora. Aatrox. I mean, it's not even close. It's just Aatrox. Give me, give me a second, Aatrox. I mean, challenger plus one? Not really. Um, Rise with a shiv looks pretty dang good to me. Yeah, because Fiora, Fiora does extra true damage. Her ability, become untargetable and strike the current target four times. Each each strike deals physical damage and true damage. Heal 15% for total damage, damage dealt. So she does um, she does true damage. Kaisa does not. Oh, I guess Kaisa is doing true damage uh, thanks to Harm Assist and the Merlin Alicon. Regardless, I'm building a shiv. Sell this, sell this. I do kind of want to hold Heimerdinger. Um... Max cap is level 9 with Heimerdinger. Uh, it's about the best this board can be. But I don't want to break econ. I do kind of want to greed for these 3 stars. Um, so, you know, it is, it, is, it is what it is. No one else is playing anything I'm playing. At least, at least not my carries. And there's a lot of 4 stars, so... Oh, there's not. There's a lot of four costs out there. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of people still alive. So this is. I mean, if I had like you know, three Fioras on bench, you know, then I'd be like, oh, it's, it's level four time. Also, it it bugged. I can't tell what's going on. Am I am I winning? Oh, Fiora Fiora's going infinite. What's her health at? She's full health. She's stunned. It's Aatrox. <laughs> what the heck? Well, that's a bit obnoxious. I don't even know what was going on. 80 to level. 19 health. Oh, people are getting strong. But I definitely, I mean, 
I'm gonna have 50 gold, like, I have one of each, like, this is not a, not a roll it to zero angle, unfortunately. I mean, maybe we'll see, maybe we'll see. If I, if I get top four, if I'm guaranteed top four after this fight, I'll just send it. Because, like, I'm okay with the positive LP, um, and of course, of course, hitting the, the three star makes for a good tuber, but I, I, I want to lock in the LP before I, before I start greeting for tubers. This guy going double trouble, Nico, double trouble, Silco. Interesting. Oh, wait a second, 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 wait a second. Where is my... <gasps> That's why I lost! My Radiant item! It's on the Quinn! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my goodness! Okay, massive healing out of Kaisa. She dashes away. Oh my god. That was a huge mistake. I would have beaten the rogue guy. I would have beaten the rogue guy if, 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 if the... Unreal, man. Unreal. Disgusting. Disgusting. 76 to level. 19 health. Hmm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I think it might still be a go 9 angle, honestly. Like, come on now. If I had more than literally one, I'd go for it, but it's it's just it's just too it's too risque. We got here, give me like a last whisper or an even shroud. Either would be excellent. Um What do we got? Uh AP AP Mix. Okay, so it's not it's not Bramble. Go Crown Guard, honestly. Um, 76. I guess I, I sack one. I sack one here. I'll level next turn. If I die from 19, I'll be so upset. I do have my Radiance item on the correct unit now. So hopefully that, uh, that, that changes, changes history. This guy, Impenetrable Bulwark. I, I did make light work of this, of this, um, Nasus last time. Fior did get caught by the stun. But I also got my stun off. Ooh, look at her, look at her. I, every time I think she dies, and it's, it's, nope, she's just, she's going infinite. She's just doing everything and then some. Alright, top three secured, top three secured. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at this. Okay, so, we'll level. Charvin. I mean, Swain. Charvin, two. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not three starting anything. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. Let's just get the Heimer turret out there. Start working with that. Um, what do we want? We probably want, um, we have some pen. I mean, we also have a lot of burn. We could just go triple gold though. Just, just full gold Heimer dinger. Just get those, get those dang executes. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, we'll see what, what, what we're given. And we'll operate accordingly. But okay, I mean this team, this team kind of bangs. I uh, I was I was doubting him for a second. I was I was doubting him without uh, the the three star angle. But it looks like I'm uh, I'm in the clear regardless. Uh, I'll grab a Shrinko for uh, for for some pen. I think I'll just go the standard build. Just Shrinko, Shrinko, Burno, uh, Goldo. The the standard just just a little a little a little bit of each a little bit of everything you know a little little frosty in the morning okay here's the rogue guy I want to make sure my Kaisa is not going to get roguedon. on um hopefully the I mean the turret it's whatever put Quinn here we'll put Quinn as the bait as long as one of these two are alive we have uh, you know we have our anti anti resistances going for us. And Fiora can surely cast again, right? Yep, she gets the cast off. And bada bing bada boom, it's not even close, baby. It's not even close, baby. What do we want? Final tank item for our Arnasus. Honestly, I'll take the item. I I because I, I could I could just grab the Nasus. Um, and have a dead spat with a guaranteed Nasus too, but 
I think I think we can get it regardless. Um, Goldo, do this. Is it just me and the rogue guy? Okay, I don't. I don't think he can take me out in one swipe, and I do not know if he has the juice to 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 kill me at all. If I'm just gonna be if I'm gonna be frank about it. Double redemption, huge for the Fiora. Give me some extra healing. Yeah, we'll just let it rip. Okay, he's got everyone stacked up over here, but you know, again, my my Quinn is is out here baiting. He's out here baiting. Okay, my Kaisa. My Kaisa dashed into them. That was not very smart, if you ask me. Okay, my my Fiora is empowered with with Aatrox. Perhaps that's that's enough. Okay, stunned and ulti. No. And not fatal, right? Not fatal. Okay, boom, 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 boom. We're good. We're good. We're all good here. Heimer two. Is that even worth? F it. I mean, it's gotta be. It's gotta be, right? It's a Heimer. It's a Heimerdinger two. Um, uh, Katarina three. Okay, Kaisa, can you not freaking troll me this time? Can you not? Can you not dash right into uh, the the clump of people that's gonna get you killed? I mean, if 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 Yora just doesn't, or Kaisa just doesn't do that, we win. So like, please, please. Oh, and I, I don't have I don't have bait units, but it doesn't matter. Honestly, I'd rather have them dash to Kaisa than have her dash away. Okay, she is getting herself killed. She made it out. Dang, the rogues are just dang, they're too dang strong. But hey, that's that's a clean top two. Um, you know I think I think rogues definitely cap out. I, I, we needed a stronger Nasus. Um, perhaps I should have taken the Nasus on Carousel. Um. And yeah, and also, yeah, this guy had insane augments, but, you know, the augments that I had were, were also pretty insane. So, you know, it's it's it's, it's a horse apiece. Overall, a good one. Um, but there you go. Now, that's, that's a little peek into playing challengers and the augments that you absolutely need. You absolutely need those combat augments to make them powerful. And you can end games like this. So, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.